Welcome to Frequency Matters, the R from Microwave Update series. I'm Pat Hindle. I'm here with my co-host Gary LaRude and special guest today, Anders Storm, CEO of Sivers Semiconductors. Welcome, Anders. Thank you. Happy to be here. Sivers Semiconductor is an international supplier of advanced 5G systems and optical products. You were previously known as Sivers IMA. Uh, you have a new name, a new brand, a new website. Tell us how you came to be uh, through this rebranding effort. Yeah, so uh, as, as you know, we've been over the last five years uh, changing a lot in the company and, and uh, become uh, some, one of the leaders in, in our 5 c for 5G. We purchased a company called CSD Global in 2017 and, and we wanted to join the companies in a, in a new name and a new brand. So, so uh, and also uh, everybody was always asking me what this is IMA stand for. So, uh, Silver Semiconductors uh, it tells you immediately what kind of company we are, and, and uh, it was also time for uh, upgrading the brand and the look and feel. And, and um, I think the guys have done a fantastic job, and I'm really happy to be Silver Semiconductors now. We understand you're opening an office in the U.S. Tell us about the uh, thought process that led to this decision, what you'll be marketing in the U.S., and where the office will be located. Uh, yeah, so, so we have uh, over, over the last uh, three, four years, a lot of new customers in the U.S. We have, for example, in the optical business, uh, added two Fortune 100 customers. Uh, we have also on the wireless side added new customers and a lot of the things happening, of course, in the Silicon Valley and, and being a semiconductor company, you probably need to be uh, present there. So uh, we have decided to open an office in Silicon Valley and hire four people uh, starting from this year. So you recently won a big 5G contract, I think it was last August. Uh, can you tell us about that agreement and the new RFIC that's being developed through that effort? So it's an, a very exciting project, part of uh, a company that is listed on the New York Stock Exchange that we're working with. And uh, together with them, we are uh, addressing uh, a tier one mobile uh, operator in the US that's going to use the, the joint solution. It's a very exciting thing. And in, in development of that the 5G NR product, uh, we have uh, Develop the new RFIC that is under development and will be, be uh, ready this year. The, the joint product should be ready from January 2023. So it's a couple of years ahead. But uh, so uh, coming out with this really new RFIC, I think it's a, a huge step forward uh, on a very highly integrated RFIC that you will know more about, I would say, uh, going forward in this year. I think you announced another major contract award last month in December. Tell us about that win, what the product is, and the module that you recently released. I had a contract with an with a East European company called 8 Devices. They also have a customer in the US, uh, which is a wireless internet service provider that will, uh, will use 60 gigahertz solutions. So this is the, the latest uh, module that we have from 57 to 71 gigahertz that is now released uh, very recently. And it's actually part of your latest, uh, it's an ad in your latest uh, magazine about it. Uh, and it's a very interesting product that covers the whole 57 to 71 gigahertz band. It has 2D beam, uh, beam steering, which uh, allows for steering in vertical and horizontal mode. Um, and, and it's actually very small and, and cost effective. We've been able to reduce the size by half uh, compared to the previous one. Uh, we have also been able to uh, reduce the number of antenna layers down from 10 to 4, which is a uh, very good work uh, by the team. And we're still using the, the RFIC that was developed uh, in 2018 and, and, and was, uh, that was one the, the, uh, the best product in, in the, um, uh, RF show in IEEE show in, in Philadelphia in 2018. So we've, we've used uh, what we have, but also further uh, developed uh, the module. I have to say that that product is very impressive. You cover that full 14 gigahertz band with very good uh, boresight antenna gain flatness and good power level, I think you said, between 39 and 40 dBm. So it should provide the user a lot of flexibility in terms of where they mount the antenna. Absolutely. And, and it's uh, also being able to be used, you know, both on the CPE side and, and the distribution node because it meets the, the really high output power targets. 
and the flexibility as you know to to steer the beam you can actually use it quite close to to a high rise building and and still cover a lot of the building so you had a very active 2019 and 2020 can you tell us what you're looking forward to most in 2021 yeah, so on top of all of these exciting projects we're working on, uh, we are uh, actually uh, moving the list here from, from NASDAQ First North Growth Market onto to a, a mid-cap list uh, for NASDAQ here in Stockholm. That is something that is ongoing, and we have said that that's going to be ready by, by first half uh, this year. And of course, as you mentioned, uh, opening up and getting feet on the ground in, in, uh, in the U.S. is one of the exciting things that's going to happen. And of course, uh, uh, the new products coming out here, uh, we're working on, on this new 5G Android chipset that we're going to probably then release sometime uh, mid this year or, or uh, going further in, into the year. And uh, then we, of course, have a lot of things happening in photonics. And, uh, and one of the Fortune 100 customers now, we just got an order uh, for uh, in here in January and we keep on building out on that. And, uh, Hopefully we get to volume production and uh, first the pilot line and stuff uh, during this year sometime. And we're working hard on, on getting there. Well, before we close out, can you tell us about the award you recently won for best presenter? Yeah, that, that's actually a, a, a financial hearing company here in Sweden that uh, does all the dreaming of all financial hearings in Sweden in different capital market days and so forth, quarterly reports. Uh, they have a prize giving out to different uh, CEOs who present, and, and uh, I was picked as the presenter of the year for all micro cap companies uh, in Sweden. So that was uh, uh, quite surprising and, and uh, fun, of course. Well, congratulations on that. And I think we should also note that you recently hired a managing director for the wireless segment of the business, which will allow you to focus more on the overall company strategy. Yes, uh, we've had uh, uh, Pelevik coming in from, from Imagination, uh, which is a, a really good uh, uh, guy. He's coming in, knows a lot of the art business. I've been working uh, within that for 15 to 20 years. So he will now focus more on the, on the wireless business while I focus on, on the more strategic things and, and also stock market and, and partnerships and so forth on, on, on the strategic level. Well, thank you, Anders, for joining us today and sharing the transition of uh, Seavers to, from IMA to Seavers Semiconductors, your expansion in the U.S., and uh, also your product development focus. We wish you and your team much success capitalizing on this interesting inflection point as millimeter wave technology becomes widely adopted for high-speed communications. So please keep us apprised of your progress. Thank you, Gary and Patrick. It's been a pleasure being here and I'm really looking forward to 2021. I've said to all our shareholders that I think this is going to be the most exciting year for the company so far. And I'm really looking forward now to get out of this pandemic and get into even more business in the future. Thank you very much for having me.